Hello YouTube and welcome to another video and uh, we're going to be doing a another unboxing in this video and uh, most of you will have seen by the title that uh, yes it's another Dyson yeah now I said I probably wouldn't be getting one of these for a little while but uh, I lied I have and it's here. Um, now, basically, the Trigger Pro that I bought earlier in the month, I um, was very impressed with, and uh, I really, uh, I've used it every single day in the kitchen on little spills and crumbs, and I've done the stairs with it, and I've done the sofa with it. I've been up and cleaned upstairs in my bedroom with it, and uh, I'm very, very impressed with it. And I know it's a V6, and I know they have a relatively short battery life. But um, what I saw when I looked at Argos was they had, I wanted one with the long, like the digital slim basically, with the cleaner head on the bottom. But I wanted one with the direct drive cleaner head. And the only ones that offered that was basically the, I could get the V7, which never seems to go underneath £300. And it doesn't really offer that much more difference. Let me just put this down. Um, it doesn't really offer that much more difference to the V6, apart from uh, the way it empties, where you pull the handle up and the, it drops the bin down. And uh, it has a slightly longer run time when there's no tools attached. But I think all they've done is to actually slow the motor down to make it last longer. They've slowed the motor down so it has less suction in the standard mode than what the uh, V6 does. Because when I looked at the uh, instruction manuals, uh, when, there, was what, there was a website where I'd, I did a comparison to be able to see how many air watts of suction there were between the V6, V7 and V8. And on the normal mode, which isn't the max, the V6 has the highest suction. Uh, I think it what, 27 air watts or something like that, and then it's, it's something like 21 or 22 on the V8. So what they're doing basically is to, to get a longer run time is to slow the motor down so that it's actually got less suction in the standard mode. So I thought, well, I can make do with another V6 because the Trigger Pro runs long enough for what I want. And what should crop up on this week's offers at Argos? The Dyson V6 Absolute. Now at one time this was the top of the range before the V8 came out and this was the one I used to charge hundreds and hundreds of pounds for but because now it's been superseded by the V8 V6 is now can come on substantial special offer and this was £239.99 and I managed to get the last one of these in Stoke-on-Trent there was no, not, none left anywhere else in Stoke apart from the Sainsbury's from me up the road as Argos basically in the Sainsbury's and they had one of these left in there and I went and fetched it tonight. So we're going to do the unboxing now and um, therefore I should get the camera off and we'll have a look at the thing in detail. But first I will just show you on the Argos website um, this machine here. It takes a little while for the camera to get focused on the uh, the computer screen, but there it is. Look, the Dyson V6 cordless absolute handstick uh, vacuum cleaner, and it's there on the Argos site. Two hundred and thirty-nine ninety-nine, and boy, has that had some reviews done on it. Three thousand six hundred and eight. There are quite a few people that's given it one stars by saying the battery life isn't very good and blah de blah. And that says currently out of stock at Sainsbury's because I just bought it tonight. So if I do a change store on that, basically there's uh, none anywhere left in Stoke. I've had the last one. The last one. And I've actually tried to mark it Drayton if I'd have wanted one now and I certainly wasn't prepared to do that. So there we go, that's the, uh, the Dyson V6 cordless. It doesn't come with the fluffy head though, because I had to look into that. I thought it did, but unfortunately this one doesn't. It just has a normal hard floor tool for use on hard floors. It's that one basically. 
but I mean I don't have that many hard floors in this house so I thought well that'll be alright for me it'll be alright for me to use in there probably better because it makes the battery last longer if there's no rotating head for hard floors so let's, let's uh, have a look at the box then let's have a look at the box okay so there we go Dyson V6 Absolute uh, and there we go, this is what it comes with. It's got the um, post motor filter on the back, like the HEPA filter, which the other one I bought the other week didn't, the Trigger Pro. This is the one with the direct drive cleaner head, 450% more power than the Dyson V6 vacuum on carpets. That means the old uh, V6 or the DC59 Animal, basically, which had the, uh, the older style of um, power head. This is the, uh, the hard floor cleaner head, which is just basically, well we'll see it in it when I get it out of the box, but it's one without a revolving brush. It doesn't have the fluffy tool. The American version does. The, the American version of the V6 Absolute has the fluffy uh, head. But in, in, in this country, in the UK, you'd have to buy the V6 Absolute or the Total Clean, I think it is, which is uh, extremely expensive and available from Curry's, which has the fluffy head. Uh, powerful brush bar, drives deep, uh, debris, 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 deep into carpet, um, carbon fibre filaments. I hope they're not going to be the torque that uh, all start breaking off like they did with the DC50. Only time will tell. Mini motorised tool removes pet hair and ground in dirt. So basically, I've got another mini motorised tool now. So what, what the thinking behind this was is that um, because it's only got a short battery life, and I have now got the Trigger Pro, which is just there. I can interchange the tools between the two. So basically have both of them charged up, fully charged. That effectively would give over half an hour's runtime on normal suction between the two cleaners because it's about 15 minutes for each cleaner with the, um, the carpet head on. So as far as I'm concerned, I mean, um, I've bought, got these two for 300 and, what is it now? 240, 340, 360, 370 basically for that and that. Trigger Pro, which is basically the old DC58 animal, and that was less than 400, less than the price. Well, about the same price as a V7 on its own. Okay, so I think that's pretty good value for money. Uh, what else have we got on the box? Uh, there we go. It's, it talks about the uh, HEPA filter that goes on the back there. Um, then it goes on about the digital motor, the V6. Obviously, now that's been superseded by the V8, the one that everybody wants, but. This cost me £300 less than a V8 Absolute would, because the V8 Absolute is over five, well, it's about £540. This was £240. So this was £300 cheaper, just for the sake of a little bit of extra runtime and a different method of emptying the cleaner. I can live with that. If I can save £300 on the price of a, a V8, I'm happy to have this one, because it does pretty much the same thing. And then it goes on about the, um, the two-tier radial cyclones at the bottom there. What else has it got? Side of the box, it goes on about the, uh, the cleaner head there and the hard floor head there. And uh, it's made in Malaysia, this one apparently. So, let's put the camera down on the side and then we'll spend the next uh, 20 minutes or so, or however long I've got left, by unboxing it. So. I'll put the thing up on the tripod here, so you should excuse me while I set this up here. Angle it down onto the floor. Right, there we go. So, let's open this thing and see what we get, shall we? Now, what's the best way of opening this box? First of all, we've got to get off the... Um, I don't think this is one that has been sent back to Argos because it's, uh, it's still completely shrink-wrapped. So that's, that's a good thing. It means it hasn't been opened by anybody else. And then we've got seals here which are intact as well, so that's good. So we need to just get these open. Oh, it's such fun, isn't it, when you've got a, a new Dyson. 
I said I wasn't going to be getting one of these for a while, but uh, when this opportunity came up to get one of these for this price, and there was one left in the area, I thought, well, I'll have to have it. There we go, that's that. Blimey, they don't need to open these boxes very easily, do they? Come on, open it, come on. That's it, that's it. Let's just check all that uh, is got on camera there before we start. Yes, just about. So this is the, uh, the usual things that you get: the story of Dyson and the uh, and the book and uh, the instruction manual. I'm sure we don't want to go into too much detail about those. So we'll just stick that out of the way. And I love, absolutely love, the colour of this machine. I love it. This, I mean. It's like a magenta colour, it's a fantastic colour, and says V6 Absolute on there. So we can take the... It seems to be you've got to rip everything off, you can, it's very difficult to... I've just got to uh, slow down a little bit here, it's all very exciting having in one of these, because I've wanted one of these for quite some time, and I've always been put off buying it by the price, and worries about run time. But having that little uh, handheld over there, that has uh, put my mind at ease in the fact that these will be absolutely sufficient for my needs. There we go. That's the ones. Very, very lightweight. It's a fantastic colour, that. Absolutely beautiful. So where do they run the cable down here? Oh, I see. Yeah. So we get the standard uh, tool that came with the Trigger Pro, which is the uh, again the, the 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 scoop brush and the dusting brush there combined into one. It would have been nice if it would come with a stubborn brush, but there we can't have everything, can we? Um, here is the crevice tool again which is basically the same type of crevice tool as we got with the Trigger Pro. Put that down there. And I can focus in, in more detail in just a little bit. We're just basically at the moment uh, focusing in, on uh, getting everything out of the box. Um, what else do we have now? Right, that's the hard floor. That's smaller than I thought it would be. That is much smaller than I thought it would be. In fact, that's tiny. Let's just get the, uh, the cardboard out. So, just as a, uh, a comparison there, between that one and a normal floor head. If we, uh, if we have the, this is the, uh, this is the floor head off the, um, the big ball, okay? And that's the hard floor head from the DC, sorry, from the V6. Look at the difference in size between those two floor heads. Very similar on the bottom with the rubber pickups look. But look at the difference. It's a good job I haven't got much hard floor, let's put it that way. This will be ideal in my bathroom because it gets into little tiny spaces, but it's a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I'll, I'll say that much. Okie dokie. This is the basically the what they, what makes it like an animal uh, version. This is what this is what the uh, the V6 animal would come with basically. This is effectively the it seems to be a very very similar setup to the V6 animal, except it comes with that as well, and it comes with the filter on the back. Uh, the animal extra in Argos. It's 389 though, so that was a lot more expensive. So I still think, you know, that for the price this was, it was a very good bargain. Here we've got the charger. And that's the same type of charger as the other one I demonstrated the other day. 
or I should have say a couple of weeks ago now. This is basically uh, the charging dock, which I'm going to be putting up on my wall in the back of the kitchen. So I'll be able to mount it on the wall and having it charge, uh, charging up all the time. Well, I think that's the idea. I don't know how the charger is supposed to go in there. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure if I read the instructions, I'll uh, be able to find out how it goes. I think there's some instructions with it. I think it just goes in through the... What does it? So how do you get the cable into there? I can't see any hole in the top of here where you put the, um, the adapter through. Oh, I'd have to read the instructions to see how that works. So we'll put that up later. I mean, I can't put that up now anyway because I need my drill to be able to put that up on the wall. Now here we have the thing that I really wanted it for, which is the direct drive cleaner head. This is, uh, this is, this is the bit that I, I wanted over the, the older style one, because apparently it's supposed to have more brush bar power. So let's get the cardboard off here. Oh yes, yes, that's uh, that's a fair bit bigger, isn't it, than the the hard floor head? I think that's a little bit of a <laughs> that's a little bit deceiving. That is, that is so tiny. Let's put that there. But yeah, this is the um, very very similar sort of style to what I've got on the uh, the Dyson light ball there but obviously it's not as big but it's still it's still big enough okay so that's that get rid of some of these uh, some of these bags and the last thing to come out will be uh, I think we've got everything else haven't we yes we've got the charger we've got the dock we've got the tools we've got the mini, mini head, we've got the main head, the hard floor head. And here we have the cleaner itself. Yes, it's very, very similar to the Trigger Pro, except it has the, the air filter on the back. And it's working as well. Yeah. Smells lovely. That does. They always smell nice, don't they? When you get them brand new, and you've got that lovely uh, sort of factory fresh smell about them. And there's the battery on the bottom. There, it's got enough charge at the moment. So let's put the rest of the stuff back in the box. And. Uh, I shan't be throwing the box away. I always keep the box. I always like to keep the box in the vacuum cleaners when I get a new. If I go up in the uh, in the loft eventually, and I'll put the lid on, and we will put that just over there with the instruction book. Because I'm not reading those just at the moment. So now we're going to just put it together and uh, see how this works and make sure everything else works as well. So we'll put the um, we'll put the miniature turbo head on there first. Yeah, there we go. So that's working okay. 
I've already got one of those, you see, on the, um, the Trigger Pro over there. I'll get that down in a minute. We'll put these two side by side and compare them. Because I don't think there's very much difference. So we, with this we've got the, uh, the filter again in the top. And it's very stiff. There we go. So a little picture of the tap on there. So we, we clean that out every month. And I don't think personally that'll need cleaning every month, but it's still worth checking it. So there's the uh, there's the little filter. And you have to push that down firmly, otherwise they have a tendency of, uh, of falling out unless you push them in firmly. And then we've got this uh, this little filter on the back, and what I have to do is take this uh, this plastic this yellow label off. The label says it's just telling me about how to change change the max mode, but I already know that anyway. So I'm just going to take off that yellow label. This is the first one that I've had with the um, the HEPA filter on the back, and basically you have to wash these as well. Apparently, so you just twist it like that, and it comes off. And inside, it basically, is a little sort of a uh, pleated miniature HEPA filter, which is uh, rather nice. So to get it back on we would line up the hole, line up the dots and click that back on. That's great, so that's the filtration. <coughs> I'm assuming it empties in exactly the same way as the old one where we push the, uh, the lever down on the back. So first of all we can open the bottom up and then if we push the lever down again we can um, eject the bin, like so. Now, as I say, a lot of people have complained about the V6 in that uh, when they overfill it and all the dirt goes up here and coats over the shroud, is that the dirt doesn't drop out of the bottom when you press the eject button. But I'm not too bothered about that because if I filled it that full, I would just take off the bin like this and empty it that way. That's how I would do it. And then we can just put it back on by aligning the lug back on the front part. Or so I thought. Yeah, that is right, isn't it? Because those, those contacts on the back have to meet up with the back. That's a little bit fiddly until you get used to doing that. Hmm. Let's do that again. Hang on a minute, how much time have we got left on this video? Only five minutes, yeah. I'll do that again another time. I just wanted to uh, make sure I could empty it properly. Let's put the um, this on as well, just to test this works. So I want to have a quick push round before we end the video. It's still got some suck to it, you know, in normal mode. Now let's put it on the pipe. And turn it into the uh, handheld. The, the, cord, the, the, the cords, what do they call them now? It's a cordless hand stick, isn't it, this is? There we go. Right then. So that's excellent.
rather heavy to pick up like that. I'd say it, puts, it, it, it would probably put a fair bit of strain on that joint. You know, so if you're going to lift it, I would imagine you'd have to sort of lift it and hold it with your hand like this to avoid breaking that joint there. That would imagine would be the weak point on this joint. With that floor head on there, it, it's quite heavy. But I'd imagine if you took that off, oh, it's much lighter, much lighter like that. So if I wanted to get up high and do my dusting up on the ceiling, let's just have the camera off. So basically, um, that's much easier, isn't it? You need to just be able to get up there. Yeah, still, still not, still quite heavy though on the hand. I must admit. But then again, I don't think I'll be doing that much uh, high dusting with this. Uh, let's just put the the camera back on the back of the chair here, because I'm going to just going to vacuum around in this room with it. Because obviously I haven't done this room for a couple of days. I'm just going to have to get the. There we go. I'll get the head on it then. And then we can see what it's like in here with the cat there. The battery's gone. The battery's run out already. So um, that's it then, basically, until I can get it charged up. It obviously is just giving me enough in there to give it a quick test, but uh, as we can see, well, it did flash then. It did flash. If I just pull the trigger, as you can see, that, that means the battery's gone. It hasn't given me any low battery warning. Normally, the max light uh, flashes on the other one. <laughs> But what's it picked up here? I mean, it's got some pet hair in there, but I do vacuum this room every day, but it's still managed to pick a little bit up, so... That's basically the, the, the quick unboxing of it anyway. Let's just try it with the other one. If I uh, put the one that's fully charged on it... So that doesn't work. You can't use the Trigger Pro with that stick for some reason. It may have a different. Uh, it may have a different end. Yeah, it has. They are slightly different. So the uh, the Trigger Pro. You can't use that long rod on it because it's got a, di a slightly different fitting in inside there. So I'm imagining then that uh, you won't be able to use the the pet till will be different as well, and that won't go in. Let's just try that. No, it's different, so they're not compatible. I'm really annoyed about that. Really, really annoyed about that. They've made it on the Trigger Pro so that even though it's a V6, you can't. Um, they're not interchangeable, you can't use the tools from the Absolute on the Trigger Pro. It won't fit. I'll have to look into that anyway, because I'm running out of time on here. I'll, I'll do another video when it's charged up. Okay, so see you again soon.